I got one, buddy. Got one? Yeah, I got a fish. You want to come reel it in? You want to reel it in? Sure. Put your rod down. Today, I'm with my son Parker. Say hey, bud. Hi. Can't see him through all the rods. It's a Saturday morning. It's actually almost lunchtime. We slept in this morning. I'm trying to do something different. We're going pond hopping, fishing from shore, old school style, like I did when I was a kid. There are about 2,000 lakes here in the Orlando area, Central Florida. Unfortunately, we don't have access to most of them because there's private property around all of them. Orlando has a series of lakes they call their Fab Five. And I'm gonna start a new series called Pond Hoppin' Orlando, where I'm gonna fish from the shore, not from a boat, well, maybe from a boat, because some of them have boat ramps. Um, some of these lakes around here that are managed by the city of Orlando. You can look it up. I'll put a link on the video to the Orlando Fab Five. Today, we are going to Bill Frederick Park, which is on Turkey Lake. They do have a boat rental program there. I think it's only like $35 for a four-hour little john boat. I'm not sure. I've been to this park before, but I've never fished it. But you can fish from shore or you can fish from a boat. But I think their boats are usually booked out about three weeks in advance. So stay tuned. We're almost here. We got to pay to get in. I have no idea what to expect. We might not catch anything. Oh, but we're doing it. all artificial lures. Yeah, we're pulling in here. So we'll see you guys in a few. All right, so we're here. You excited? Yeah. Look. What are we going to fish for today? Bass. Look at the camera. What are we going to use? Minnows or crickets? All artificial lures. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to start off. We're gonna start off on the dock. You can fish from shore here too. We went down and looked at it, and um, there's a lot of lily pads. I don't think I brought a rod with braid on it, which could be a problem, besides some spinner rods. But I did bring a whole bunch of stuff, probably too much stuff. All my stuff is in my truck right now because my new boat is still not here. But I did get word from Ranger that it is going out this weekend. So it will be here next week. And then Toho Marine's got to rig my new Evan route on it. And there's a whole bunch of my tackle that I just keep in my boat. Got a little bit of it organized here in this bag. Probably everything we need right in here. Is this good? Yeah, and that's a lot of tackle. You got to here, you carry this. Oh. Oh, that's heavy. You can't carry all that? Can you carry that all the way down there? No. Okay. No. How about you carry the camera bag and I'll carry that. Sure. So, we gotta pick some rods. Is that zipped up? Or are we gotta make sure that's zipped up all the way. No. Hold oh, on, let's zip this up all the way. Now you got it. Here you go. So we found the fishing pier. It's a little bit of a walk from the truck. Coming? Yeah. You gonna make it? Yep. Yep. It's all right there now. It's a pretty cool park. You can ride bikes here. I think they have a petting zoo, a public pool. Yeah. Said the pool was closed. Yeah. Maybe they had a code brown. Had to close the pool. You know what a code brown is? No. You don't know what a code brown is in a public pool? No. When they have to close it? Yeah, but you know what the code brown means? No. It means somebody went number two in the pool. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that's why it's closed. <laughs> but that is what lifeguards say when they have, when that happens, they say, code brown, code brown, close the pool. They got pavilions here, all kinds of stuff. Not very good people here. A moth just flew into my ear. A moth flew in your ear? Yeah. So, Lots of lily pads. I'm definitely gonna have to hit the shoreline, maybe throw a frog. Might see a video that everybody wants to see here. Pond fishing, frog fishing. 
just saw a frog? Yeah. Huh. Cypress trees. <laughs> Alligators? No way. No way? I never even caught an alligator. I do not want to break my new pole that Dad just gave me like one day ago. What kind of pole is it? Bait spinner. Spinner reel? Yeah, spinner reel. Who makes them? 13 fishing? Yeah, 13 fishing. Look at the ibises. Those are called ibises. You know, a long time ago I was in a tournament on Lake Okeechobee. And I was going real fast, and my partner in the tournament got hit in the face by an ibis. And it knocked him out. <laughs> I don't think we're going to go all the way out to the end. Because all the bass will be in here probably close to these weeds. What do you think? Yeah, I guess. Yeah? Yeah. So. I just don't really want to lean all the way over. Hey, do you want to go off this dock that has no railing on it so you can reach? Yeah. So we got this fishing pier here that has a bunch of railing, which at your level, it's going to be hard to fish from. Then we got a pier over here that has no railing. Let's go to that one. What do you say? Yeah, look. Pretty dark water, huh? Yeah. I just saw some, some blue so, I saw some blue just This there. dock is obviously good for the taller people. Yeah. What are you gonna not do on the dock that has no railing? Not jump in. Not jump in? No. There's definitely alligators in there. Yep. I'm gonna rig some stuff up, see if we can catch some fish. Stay tuned. So what are you fishing with? A shiner? A shiner? No, it's like a Cinco, but it's made by DOA. It's made by DOA, and it's called a 5-inch CAL, and you've got it weightless. You're supposed to just be twitching it, though, like this. Watch. Just twitch, twitch, and let it sink. And then reel up your slack real slow. Twitch, twitch, let it sink. Let's see if we can get it up against this grass right here. Parker is an excellent caster, and it doesn't need my help. Don't want to break any fish off in the grass, but let's see if we can get some bites on it. Look at this, buddy. You want to see what this bait does? Sure. So I'm going to throw this. Whoops. I might give you one of these here soon. Cause look what you do with this. I don't see a lot of activity here. I know they have fish attractors on this lake. Like artificial brush piles put out by the state. I have no idea what, how deep it is. Any bites yet? So I made a bunch of casts with this frog to no avail, so I'm gonna switch it up. I got a Texas rig worm, trick worm rigged up in one of my rods. Parker's still manning the Cinco over here, the DOA CAL Cinco type bait. I'm gonna put on a Texas rig trick worm. This is our first pond fishing challenge. No bites yet, but we've only been at it for about 10 minutes. We're gonna catch at least a couple. I got one, buddy. Got one? Yeah, I got a fish. You want to come reel it in? You want to reel it in? Sure. Put your rod down. Whoa. Oh, he came off. I got a cast. Did you see him jump? Yeah, I got a cast over there. Yeah. 
So, we had one on the Texas rig, but what happened? It came off. I lost him, didn't I? Mm -hmm. I think you need a weight. Keep fishing with that. I'm gonna rig up a weight, a sinker, okay? You do? Parker's got one. Oh, uh-oh, he's got one. What? Oh! Oh! Dude! Oh! That was your first bass. Hold on, I gotta fix it. Here, look. Parker, look. Was that your first bass on artificial yeah, I lure? I had a really good feeling about that one. Yeah, that was out in the open water too, wasn't it? I can't explain it. You did that all by yourself, huh? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I got one. That was actually pretty powerful. It was? Yeah. I cast it way out there near it, and I just hooked the bait fast. Whew. Good job. You ready to go I, back at it? Yeah. Did you feel him bite it, and you waited? Yeah. And then what'd you do? I, I just, like, hooked it. I just pulled it as hard as I could. Yep. Watch your foot there. You don't want to step off the dock. Good job, dude. Catch another one. So we've had, how many fish have we hooked? Two. Two? How many have we touched? None. <laughs> but that, all that matters is we're getting bites, right? Yeah. That means we're doing the right thing. So right now, our first pond fishing challenge, Parker and Dad, two fish hooked, one on a Cinco type bait in open water and one and that isolated Kissimmee grass patch out there on a Texas rig worm. It's pretty good for about 20 minutes, huh? Let's go walk, let's pick up our stuff and walk around and see what else we can find. You wanna do that? Huh? Some different fishing spots? Yeah, like see if there's a different fishing spot. Alright, so we did our first part of our Orlando Pond Fishing Challenge at Turkey Lake, Bill Frederick Park. We went 0 for 2 there, so we're kind of tied. Parker did get his end closer to the boat, or to the dock. And uh, we were thinking about going to another lake by the Orlando Airport called the Conway Chain. We're kind of driving through the roads that we've been in between the lakes here but there's not really a good fishing area there from shore if you were here during the week or early in the morning it might be okay because there's just one dock um, one boat ramp and not anywhere you can really walk because it's solid houses all the way around this whole chain of lakes here and there's a few storms in the area with about eight or ten trailers at the park so or at the boat ramp and they're all starting to come in and it just wouldn't have been a good experience. So we're going to another Orlando Fab Five Lake, which I talked about a little bit earlier, called Lake Underhill. It is not under a hill. It's about a 130 acre lake, which you can look up on, on the internet, all the information on it. It is managed as one of the Fab Five Lakes here in Orlando for the Fish Orlando Project as a trophy lake and I've done a lot of guide trips on it. Um, I did a video there several months ago called Urban Bass Fishing in Orlando. I'll put a link up to that video there if you want to watch that. We did that from a boat with one of my customers. But we are bank fishing today. There's a dock there by the boat ramp you can fish from and you can, unless the grass is really grown up here in the summertime, you can walk around the shore there and fish. So we got in from the heat, we got a lot of rain in the area. Hopefully it's not raining when we get there. We are gonna go see what we can catch there. On still day one, lake number two of our Orlando Pond Fishing Challenge. You ready for number two? Yep. Who's gonna catch the most? Me. 
Why do you think that? Because I beat I beat you on the challenge of uh, Lake Okeechobee. You did beat me on the Okeechobee challenge. I forgot about that one. That one we were using shiners. Mm -hmm. This one's all artificial lures. Stay tuned. See what we catch. There's a few little ones. Man, that's a bad storm coming. Any bites? This will be the first video I've done, Parker, where I didn't, where we didn't really catch any fish. Should we still put it on the on YouTube? What do you think? Sure. To sh yeah, because it's our it's our challenge, and you don't always win your challenges, do you? Mm -hmm. So this was our first Orlando pond fishing challenge or shore fishing challenge. We hit two of the Fab Five lakes. We probably didn't go at the right time, right in the middle of the day, in the middle of the summer. We had two fish on, which we didn't really catch in either one of them because we jumped them off halfway to the boat or halfway to the dock. Then we got here to Lake Underhill, lake number two, right as a huge storm was approaching. So we only got to make a couple casts there. It is a cool lake though, right near downtown Orlando. Um, you can catch a lot of fish from this lake in a boat and I'm sure you can catch some from the shore but it's not going to happen today. So, thanks for watching. Um, check out my other series or my other playlists. A lot of stuff on there with Parker. Oh yeah, and if this video gets 5 million likes... 5 million likes? What? We'll do two extra videos. If it gets 5 million likes? Mm -hmm. Wow. I think most of my videos only get about 50 likes. Five, so if we get 5 million likes, which would be awesome, um, we'll do two more videos. Otherwise, no more videos from us, right? Mm -hmm. Five million likes. Well, this is a challenge, so... Uh, it is a challenge. That so, would be very challenging. So we're going to do a lot of videos, more than just three. Okay. And at the end, if we get five million likes on this video, we'll do two extra. Five million likes. That is a ton of likes, buddy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave some comments. We didn't catch any fish today. Who cares? We had fun. It's hot. We're going to go get something to eat because we're both growing boys still. And we'll see you next time.